احنا من سبعين سنة فاتوا كنا احسن من كده كانت النسوان بتمشي في الشارع لابسة من يجب محدش بيقدر يقيم عينه فيها ولو حد بس قال لها بنصور يعني بتقول لي العسكري المحترم يجي يجر على الاسم That's Amal Fathi, a 34-year-old Egyptian mother. She was venting her anger because twice in one day she had been sexually harassed. In her Facebook post, she blamed the government for failing to protect women. Two days after she posted the video came the knock at her door. Amal was arrested and separated from her family on charges of spreading fake news. I met Amal's husband, a human rights lawyer, in his Cairo office. He told me Amal is not the only person falling foul of the law in this way. The government says it's trying to fight rumors that destabilize the country. The government has now set up a hotline for Egyptians to report fake news and rumors. But the crackdown appears to go wider than that. Hundreds of websites have been blocked in Egypt since last year. Some of them belong to critical media organizations and some to human rights groups. Egyptian authorities deny any systematic crackdown on free speech. Amal's husband told me he hoped his wife would be freed on appeal and reunited with their three-year-old son Zidane. While there might be some light at the end of the tunnel for Amal, the space for expressing dissent in this country is obviously shrinking. And the phrase fake news is seen by many opponents as a powerful tool to silence them.